What's up with it, y'all? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy Brian Keith, baby, and BKS3 is a lifestyle. If you didn't know, so of course I'm coming to y'all with another video. Um, if you haven't checked out the last one, go check it out. Um, focus up. That's our theme for whole 2021. Focusing up, focusing on God, focusing on the things that He wants us to do, the things He wants from us, our relationship with God, focusing on Him. Um, so this video, as you as you see, is entitled "Life Sucks." It's a mindset thing. Um, I know that me personally, boy, I've been going through life. I done dealt with stuff. I done had to come into obstacles, roadblocks, and I just be thinking to myself, and sometimes I say it out loud, like, man, life sucks. I can't stand being here. I can't stand dealing with the stuff I'm dealing with. I can't stand being around the people I'm around. You know, just my, my attitude, my attitude on life sucked. You know what I'm saying? It was not good. Um, but there is a scripture in the Bible where they say life and death is in the power of the tongue. Um, this is actually Proverbs 18, 21. Uh, I'm going to read this to King James, King James Bible. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, which that means whatever you speaking is really what you going to get. You know what I'm saying? I know some people may have heard of the law of attraction. Um, I feel like this is the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You kind of reap what you sow. Whatever you put out there is what you get. And um, a lot of us will look at life and be like, man, I hate this. Or man, I hate them. Or man, I hate my life. I, I just wish I could have this and I can wish I could have that. And you can wish for all of these things and you can do all of this stuff and it still you will still have an emptiness in you without God that's my personal opinion that's what I felt is fact to me because I had to live through it uh, but there is a scripture which is Romans 12 verse 2 it says do not copy the behavior and the customs of this world but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. By changing the way that you think. When you learn to know God's will for you, which is good, and then you will, uh, I'm sorry, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. And I, I feel like this scripture like sums up like this whole entire thing of life sucks. And we gotta understand it's really a mindset thing. Life really doesn't suck. We don't like some of the situations in our life. We don't like some of the things that we have to face. We don't like some of the things that we have to go to. But God said, his word says, do not copy the behaviors and the customs of this world. And what I get from just that when it says do not be do not copy the behavior and the customs of this world. Man, everybody always complaining. Everybody always got an opinion about something. Everybody always got something to say. And when you start to copy those same behaviors and customs, like, okay, when something goes bad, what do you do? You mourn, you go smoke, you go drink, you go do, you go find something to ease that pain. That is a custom that, that, that this world has continually to push on the people of God, on people, period. Like, okay, if you don't feel good, man, go to the bar, get you something to drink, or go to the store, get you something to drink, and drink your problems away, or get high. Get high till you don't feel it no more. You know what I'm saying? And God does not want us to do that. But he said, let him, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. So when you know that life and death is in the power of the tongue, you are more prone to think before you speak. Now, you may be going through something so life changing or just even with the stuff that's going on in the world today, some of that stuff can weigh on us. But when we know who and whose we are, when we know that when we allow God to transform us into a new person by changing the way we think, we are, we're starting to understand that, okay, I'd rather speak life. Like, I may not have any money. 
but I'm going to speak. I have everything I need. I may not feel love, but I'm going to speak that somebody's gonna love me or I'm going to experience what true love is. Even the word says, speak those things that are not as though they were. So that's, that's, that's having faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when it says life or death is in the power of the tongue, that means by faith I'm speaking life. I'm speaking to my situation. I'm not speaking, oh, I got a Maserati. No, I'm, I'm speaking this stuff according to God's will and God will. He said, when I start to know his will, which is good and pleasing and perfect, these things start to manifest. So when I know that God's plan for me is good, when I know that God's plan for me is to prosper, for, is for me to prosper in health, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, I'm going to start walking and I'm going to start speaking life to those things. I may be in debt right now. I've got a whole lot of bills I got to pay. But every day when I see those bills, when I don't see those bills, I speak that I am debt free. I'm speaking something that is not as though it is. And I'm believing for that thing. So what's coming out of my mouth is life life if if i have if i'm having a hard time with the people around me i'm thanking god for good wholesome people around me that i can encourage and that can keep me encouraged when i'm speaking that i am loved that i am the head that i am not the tail that i am above and not beneath and i'm speaking life and i'm speaking the word of god over my life in my life and to other people in my life. I'm speaking life because the tongue is a dangerous thing. And there's another scripture in Proverbs 13, three. It says, those who control their tongue will have long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. You can say something out of anger. You can say something out of depression. You can say something out of being sad, whatever the case may be. But when you learn to control those things that are coming out of your mouth, those thoughts, those thoughts, it starts in the mind. And God said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So even in that step, there are steps to getting to un there. There are steps to getting to the place of speaking life continuously. If all you've known is to complain, is if all you known is to speak death or to speak what you see, it it takes practice to reverse the curse. You gotta reverse the curse. So sometimes you're gonna have to just get up and practice it. You're gonna have to practice it. It's gonna have to be a daily walk. This life that we live, BKS3, baby, it's a lifestyle. When I say it's a lifestyle, that means it's a everyday thing. It's something that I'm living out. It's something that I'm practicing. So I'm practicing speaking life over death. And even my pastor said this, and said this to us we take ownership of things like oh my allergies oh this headache oh my head hurts my head hurts no my head is healed i know it seems far-fetched but i have seen people who have when they have started to change the way that they think when they start to change the way that they speak you see those things gradually following so I may have a headache right now, but I'm like, I thank God for this headache being eradicated. I thank God that I'm walking in perfect peace. I thank God that I have peace in my mind. I thank God that my bills are paid. I thank God that I walk in freedom, that I am strong, that I am more than a conqueror. I thank God for these things because I'm learning to speak life. I'm learning to understand the importance of life and death in the power of the tongue. You can say something to somebody and it can tear them down and they can start to have a complex like, well, people don't love me, people don't like me, or I'm not this or I'm not that. But when you learn to speak life into people as well as onto yourself, things will change. I promise you, I'm a living witness testimony here I am because I used to think and speak death over myself and others but again Proverbs 13 3 
Those who control their tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. Be careful what you're saying. Be careful what you're speaking over yourself. Be careful what you're speaking over others. It can ruin things. You have to tame this beast. This tongue uh, can be your downfall, can be your destruction. And I have another scripture. Um, Ephesians 3 verse 20. Now, all glory to God who is able through his mighty power that works within us to accomplish if infinitely more than we may ask or think. Can a God working in us, through us, we can accomplish infinitely more then we may ask or think. So again, this is enough. This is this is and this and there's a whole lot of places in the Bible where it talks about this. We can talk, we can ask God for things, we can think of things. And if we allow God to do those things, who can do it? The person who does it through us is God. That I'm I'm assuming that there is nothing that we can't overcome. There is nothing that we can't accomplish with the power of God. And I think in another translation, it says, now to, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we may think or ask according to the power that work works in us. So there's a power that works on in us and it goes, it goes right back to life and death is in the power of the tongue. There is a power that is working with us, within us. There is a God power, a God power, a God given power that works within us. It, it works within us, not with us, within us. So it, it goes to and it, it, fur, it further confirms the fact that we have a power to speak life in death and how strong and how powerful that is. So you have to remember that no matter what the situation looks like, no matter what you may be going through, speak life. I know it's easier said than done because I can attest to it, but we have to practice. When things may not be going our way, when, when life May be when when life seems to throw us all kind of curveballs, twists, turns, roadblocks. We have to know that we have the ability to speak to a mountain and say, "Be thy removed to the sea," and it has to happen because God has given us that power to speak to the things in our lives that may be plaguing us. If you have an addiction. If there is any stronghold or any self-doubt or worth issues or identity issues, anything that you can imagine, you can speak to those things according to the word of God. You can speak to those giants. You can speak to those mountains in your life and tell them to be removed. Stop complaining and start praising. I, I like that. I just feel that. Stop complaining and start praising. Stop complaining and start praying. When you are in communion in communion with God, when you communicate with God and cast your cares upon God for he cares for you, dude, there are certain things that you just honestly will kind of look over. You won't even really deal with it no more. If you're dealing with self-worth, you have to know that God loves you. God, you have to speak the word of God over your life. That you are chosen, that you are royal, that you are holy, that you are his. That's one of my favorite scriptures, 1 Peter 2, 9. Read it. You have to start speaking what God says about you over your own self. You have to start speaking life into other people. You know how we can easily call people stupid or dumb and da 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 da? I 
dealt with it growing up. But you have to speak to whatever it is. I, I don't know what it is for other people, but I know for me, I can only I can only go based off of me. I dealt with self worth issues. I've dealt with it. I've dealt with thinking that I'm not good enough, but knowing that I am a child of God and God sees me as good enough that I have to know that I am the head and not the tail. Despite what I may be going through, despite that I have bills that I know I can't pay on my own right now, but I speak on a daily, I am debt free and I work towards that. I ask God to lead me and guide me to be who he's called me to be. And when I make a mistake, I learn from that mistake and I correct it. Stop saying that you're ugly. Say God has made me beautiful. Say that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. When you don't feel love, speak God loves me. You can speak the scripture. Was it um, John 3, 16? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And, and whoever believes will have everlasting life. So God loved you enough to send his son to die for you. So start speaking that I am loved. God loved me so much he sent his only begotten son to die for me. I don't know what else to tell you. Speak life. Some of you are going to struggle with it, but it's okay. They say practice makes perfect. I mean, I'm not sure, you know, some people say you'll never get perfect. But practice makes better. When you when you practice, when you start implementing these things, it only can get better. It only can get better. When you're playing a video game and you know how you go from an easy level, then you get to a harder level, and you may you may fail a couple times, but you get back at it and you learn from your mistakes and you go to the next level until you finish the game. This life that we live is a race. It's not given to the swift. But those who can endure to the end, we just keep going into the end and we'll get that prize when we get to the end. Life, it's a mindset thing. Life doesn't suck, stop saying that. Life is good. Life is good. Even when it's not, life is good. Speak those things that are not as though they were. Life is good. It's a mindset thing, it starts here. It starts here, then it trickles down to our actions and the things that we do. Speak life, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Be cast through your lifestyle. And to the next one, focus up. Put your eyes on God. You are chosen, you are royal, you are holy, you are God's. Let's go, y'all know what it is.